All right, YouTube, today I'm gonna to be installing the Putco Blade. This is the 60 inch um, tailgate light bar. Uh, this one does work with the blind spot monitoring uh, as well as lane keep assist and all that stuff. Uh, as you can see, I already uh, lowered the spare tire just so I could connect to the seven pin and four pin connectors with the uh, blade quick connect. I will be putting a link in the description down below uh, where you can get this product. If you do buy it from that link, uh, it does help out the channel, so it'd be greatly appreciated. First thing you're gonna wanna do uh, is get remove the tailgate. I would highly recommend two people for this. So I'm gonna lower this and kind of show you how to do it. And then I'll actually do it off camera. There's a little pin right here. And over here, you can see there's a little uh, gap in the circle. You're gonna lift this up to a 45 degree angle and pull out. Once you pull it out, you'll be able to pull this side out by shifting the tailgate to the right. You are gonna wanna disconnect these guys before you actually pull the tailgate off. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then we'll get right back to it. Behind here, as you can see, I already installed it. If this tire were to be right here, you would not be able to get your hand up in there to disconnect it. So the short stubby side plugs into the seven and four pin connector and the longer side plugs into the um, actual plug. Here are your four pin reverse and 12 uh, volt plugs as well. I'm gonna tuck this up in here um, a little bit better so that way when I get the blade attached, the wire is gonna come right through there. I'm gonna run it above the frame, above the trailer hitch receiver, and right here so it's a clean install. I also wanna to note too, uh, to try to get this up as far as you can, so that way when the tire is situated where it would normally be, you're not gonna have any contact. Um, and I also recommend too, not cutting this zip tie or this wire loom because this does make for a clean install from Blade. So let's get that done and then uh, I'll show you how to connect it. So once the tailgate is removed right there, you're gonna wanna clean the mounting surface with rubbing alcohol. I chose to go the route with the little clips because I access my spare tire underneath the tailgate. So if I need to access my spare, I can take the bar off of the clips rather than take the uh, the whole bar off and have to reapply some 3M adhesive. So you're gonna clean all of this, then you're gonna determine where you want the clips to go. Um, I'm going to put this just right above this bumper so that way it is, or I mean lip, plastic lip right there, so that way it is flush with this black lip. So I'm gonna clean this real quick and then we'll choose where we wanna put the clips. I chose to place the uh, clips for this. First one is right here by the end. Second one is right under this little retainer pin for the uh, trailer backup camera and automatic uh, tailgate uh, down, um, what is it, uh, plugs right here. The third one, I decided to go to the right of the spare tire bracket just so that way we can maximize the amount of uh, metal that the 3M adhesive is actually adhering to. If you go too close on either side, uh, you can see slightly that it actually slightly bows out a little bit just because the lip on this is longer um, than the adhesive backing on here. And then the fourth and final one I put over here on the end. So the reason again I went with the clips is because the spare tire, you access it here instead of over here like on some other manufacturers. So if I do need to get to my spare, I can always unclip the bar rather than unclip the adhesive um, and have to get new 3M adhesive. So I'm gonna go and put this last uh, adhesive strip on. I'm gonna go press it down and firmly uh, seat it. Then we're gonna uh, put the uh, tailgate back on. Now, because I already had that blade uh, quick connect already wired up, I'll give you a little preview. 
pretty bright. I tried to get it as center as I could. Um, there is more plastic over here on the left side than there is on the right side. So I kind of offset it just a little bit to make up for that difference. Um, <laughs> the everyday person isn't really going to tell, but uh, I'm just OCD like that. So let's get this last adhesive piece on and then reconnect the bumper and we will be good to go. And I'll actually show you where I ran the uh, wire loom for that as well. Placement of the bar. If you carefully take out the uh, spare tire thing, you don't even have to take the bar off at all. And you can put it back in as well, very carefully, and you're back in business. So very, very cool. Uh, I'd highly recommend two people for taking off the tailgate. Uh, especially if you have the backup camera and all that stuff because there are little plugs up in here you gotta um, remove and it's just better be safe than sorry and not damage a very expensive beautiful looking truck but with that being said I'm gonna kind of show you what it looks like now um, middle of the day and then uh, we'll, we'll show you some uh, some night stuff as well so before I put the spare away completely this is the wire for the blade right here. I'm gonna kind of move it over and zip tie it to probably that guy right there for a cleaner install from the, from the rear of the truck. I ran it up over the frame, down, and snaked it around the trailer hitch receiver. Uh, the little box or whatever, a little fuse box or whatever it is, CAN bus system, is actually sitting on top of the uh, frame to minimize uh, contact with water. And then down here, we've got the white wire and the four pin going to the uh, blade quick connect, which is right over there. Um, I did this again, try to get it up as high as I possibly could. This is right behind the license plate right here. And then as you can see, the spare is right there, not all the way up yet but it shouldn't come in contact with any of these cords, which is what I wanted. And then right over here is the uh, quick connect plug and play adapter. Again, this one does have the white reverse plug and play. So no tapping into expensive uh, LED tail lights, just in case something goes wrong. Uh, these are like almost a thousand bucks or something like that. They're, they're not cheap. So that's kind of how I did it. Let's plug everything back in, tidy everything up and take a look at it. blade 60 inch uh, light bar with the uh, Putco blade quick connect. If you're interested in this product, the link will be in the video description below. Uh, if you'd like to follow along with the build process, uh, as of right now, I'm trying to do uh, at least one weekly video on the truck. Um, we got a lot of stuff planned coming up in the future, so please consider subscribing, maybe sharing the video. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.